And that was our Randy Bass reporting. The encampment is cleaned up, but some demonstrators still fired up. The question now, what happens next? DC News Now reporter Leonard Ann Fleming continues our team coverage tonight with what's ahead in the battle for campus. There is a lot and a ton of uncertainty among students on campus here, especially with graduation just under two weeks away. I pray that our commencement doesn't get disrupt disrupted. Richard Lee is a senior at George Washington University. He is set to graduate on May 19th on the National Mall. For Lee and other seniors at GW, it would be the first time they are walking across a graduation stage. A lot of us missed our commencement already back in high school because of COVID. And if we were to lose our commencement to this, I personally would be very, very angry. D.C. police cleared the pro-Palestinian encampment Wednesday after nearly two weeks of protests. Students say they are trying to go back to normalcy as finals begin. Lee says he's worried about protests during the ceremony. It's the only school in the, in the country that we ha get to have our commencement on the National Mall. I imagine it to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Skylar Saratsky, another senior at GW, is worried too about disruptions. Columbia just canceled their commencement. I believe USC canceled their commencement. So it's a big fear that, you know, what's going to happen now for the graduating class. Saratsky says she's unsure on how to move forward. The big fear of mine is that they're just going to prop up somewhere else after graduation, after commencement, when the barricades come down. University officials said in a statement that given the security concerns, all activities, including those of free expression, must be cleared with the Division of Student Affairs. Reporting in Northwest D.C., Leonard N. Fleming, D.C. News Now, back to you.